time you visit the Phantom Lab, don't forget to wear your personal protective equipment, your mask, your gloves, and of course, your face shield. Today, we'll start by shade selection. We do this step before applying the rubber dam. For cavity preparation, you'll need number 330 burr, predental probe, an explorer, dredgeable marginal trimmer, and hatchet. You'll start with 330 burr following the margins of the marker. While preparing the cavity, you need to check the depth using predental probe to make sure that it's not too shallow or too deep. The next step of cavity preparation is beveling. You'll bevel incisal, gingival, and axial walls. Beveling is preferably done using a tapered diamond burr. You can ensure the smoothness of enamel by the aid of hand cutting instruments such as gingival modular trimmer and hatchet. The last step of cavity preparation is checking the measurements and making sure that the cavity is smooth and even. For applying composite, you'll need an acid etch, an adhesive, and the composite shade you've selected earlier. First, you apply an acid etch. After that, you air dry it or plot dry it. After that, apply the adhesive using a micro brush. After that, gently air spray the adhesive layer to prevent pooling and to evaporate the solvent. Use a light cure unit to set the adhesives. You'll also need plates and plastic instruments. For a smooth interproximal surface, make sure to apply a wedge along with a milder strap. While applying composite, make sure that the surface is always smooth because there's nothing smoother than freshly applied composite. After filling the cavity with the composite, you grab the two ends of the model strip and wrap them around the tooth of interest. Instant the light cure to get a smooth finished surface. After light curing, use blade number 12 to remove the excess. Make sure to direct the blade away from the gingiva. For finishing smooth surfaces, you can also use soft flex discs. If your composite is already smooth, you can start with the finer ones. You can finish the interproximal surface using the finishing strips. If your interproximal surface is smooth and your contact is good, you can start with fine and extra fine. If not, you can start with the coarser one. After finishing, polish the composite with rubber cups and polishing paste. If your composite is as smooth as ours, you can skip this step. Use an explorer to make sure that there is no open margins or an excess at the interface of the composite and the tooth. <laughs> 